Hey guys, this is Algorithms Made Easy and today we are working on the problem populating next right pointers in each node. So you are given a perfect binary tree where all the leaves are on the same level and every parent has two children. The binary tree has a following definition. So here we are given a value, a left child, a right child and a pointer to the next. So we need to populate each next pointer to point to its next right node. If there is no next right node, then the pointer should be set to null. Initially, we are given all the next pointers which are set to null. Follow up here given is that we can use only constant space and we can assume that the recursive approach that takes the implicit stack is not counted as an extra space. So in the example, we can see that this is the initial tree and this is what we need to make. So we need to connect all the nodes at same level to each other till the end and then mark the next of last node to null. Here, since this is a perfect binary tree, we will have either two nodes or no nodes. No incomplete nodes would be present in the tree. So how are we going to do this? So let's assume you are at node 2. So you can easily connect 4 with 5. So what you will do there is point the next of 4 to right. But how do you connect 5 to 6? For that, while you are at node 2, you are already connected with 3. So, next of 5 will be next of roots left. That's all. So, let's start writing the code. First, we'll take care of the null conditions. So, if if any of these is null, we return root. Now, next we do the connection of left and right. So root dot left dot next becomes root right. Next, we see if root dot next is not equal to null. Because if we are here, its next would be null. So if it is not null, so we will point its rights next to roots next left. So root dot right dot next becomes root dot next dot left. Since this is recursive call, we will call connect on root dot left and on root dot right. And at the end, return root. If we run this code, we are getting the right result. And here we can see this got submitted. The time complexity over here is O of n as we are traversing all the n nodes. And the space complexity is O of 1 assuming that the stack does not take any space. That's it for today. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.